In this video, I'm going to cover edgy creations and what it can do uh, in collecting student work and, and student uh, thinking. And this is all based on the web-based version, not the app version. Uh, the, the nice thing about the web-based version is we can use it on any device, uh, but it's going to be really nice on the new Flip uh, Chromebooks that we've got in the schools and the touch screen and things. So edu EduCreations, it's a really great tool. Uh, when you first go to EduCreations.com, you know, I would suggest signing up and creating an account and having your students do the same. Uh, it allows you to save your lessons and things. So if I was a teacher, I'd click teacher sign up. If I was a student, I'd click student sign up. When I do that, um, it's just going to take me to where I can put in my, you know, first and last name, email, password, all that kind of stuff. I would suggest using your school address here. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to go to the login screen. And because I've used my school account, I can just click this uh, login with Google page, and it's going to take me right to EduCreation. So I'm, I'm here. Uh, I have no lessons uh, created on, on this account, so I wanted to walk you through this. Uh, this would be the same process for students as well. Um, so if I was going to create a new lesson, I, I click here and it opens up the screen for EduCreations. Uh, what EduCreations really is, is it's like a digital whiteboard. So right now I'm on a touchscreen uh, flip Chromebook and I'm using my finger on the screen and so I can say I want my writing to be, you know, this light blue. And I can write directly on the computer. Really nice for teachers creating digital materials, but really nice for the students as well to be able to do some work digitally. And I'm going to show you some features coming up that make this tool really useful in getting a glimpse of how students are thinking. Uh, so, you know, I can, I can write all over this. I can change my colors. You know, this stuff's kind of obvious. I can, I can erase as, as I need to. I can add pages here down at the bottom uh, by pushing the, the left and right arrow on the other side of this, you can see how I'm adding pages. So now I've got two pages and, and I, I can keep going um, or I can go back to the first one. Not a, not a huge deal there, uh, but it's nice to be able to add more pages. Uh, I can even insert images. So I'm over here by the, in the center of the screen by the delete uh, trash can there, clicking that button. And it's going to ask me, okay, what images do I want to bring in? I've already saved some, maybe I want to bring in you know, the, this coordinate plane picture that I have saved. So now I've got this picture, but I can still write over the top of it. So I can draw my line over the top and I can ask the students, okay, what is the equation of this line? Um, you know, those, those sort of things, but they can also then turn around and create a video, which I'm going to show you here soon, um, using EduCreations, showing you their work. So EduCreations isn't just this whiteboard, but it also has this record button or this record feature in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to allow this computer or this service to use my, my microphone. And it's already recording what I'm saying right now. You can see the counter going up. So again, teachers or students can do this. Uh, I can create a new page. It's recording all of this. I can bring in a new picture. Um, you know, and again, it's it's going to be uh, just recording what's going on in Edu Creations. And because you can see, because I added the picture, it already stopped the recording. All I have to do is click the report button to keep going, and I'm recording again. And you know, I or a student can start labeling this picture. Of, if I click on a pen and I'm going to label here and this is the mantle, sorry about my handwriting, I'm using my finger on the screen. Um, if you're going to have students do this, having them have a stylus may be a good idea. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and stop recording this video within Edu Creations and I'm going, to, I'm going to hit pause there and that allows me to keep going. I can change the page and add more and it will all be one voice recording or I can hit save at this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. I do have some options. I can preview the video, uh, but just for time, I'm, I'm going to save it. And what happens is it's going to have me title it. So I'm just going to, this is my test, and I don't have to put in a summary. I don't have to put in um, the privacy. I like leaving as private, so it's not published, especially if students are doing it. You don't have to put a subject area or a grade level. And I hit create. and 
I'm now back at that first screen, but here's that first lesson I had. I could create another one and keep going. Uh, what's nice here, though, is if I actually click on this lesson, it's going to take me into the lesson and it's going to show me the video that I actually created. And so you can kind of hear it's already recording what I'm saying right now. You can see the counter going up. So again, teachers or students can. So that was the audio from the video I made. I just muted the microphone so I didn't have too much audio going on at once. But that video is playing, and that's great, but here's where the really nice thing is. Right below, you have the share button. If I click this add a share, here's a link right here to the video. So I could post this in my Google Classroom for students to watch. I could post this on my school website. I could email it out. Um, you know, maybe it's a great way to make some quick tutorials for, uh, you know, uh, with what's going on in class so parents when they're home can help out and, and things um, but students can do this as well so students could turn this video in by uh, copying and pasting the link to their video into a Google Classroom assignment so just lots of different ways to use it in class but it's great at capturing what students are thinking and you know if we can train them to think out loud as they're working through a problem we're going to have a lot better idea of how we can further support them so i hope edu creation seems like a great